Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Wednesday, May 31st, 2017. Um, let me just say this right off the bat. I am sorry for missing Friday. I did post on my social networks and on my blog that I had did on Thursday. But I just really was not feeling well. I got hit with some kind of a virus. It was awful. Just kind of wiped me out. Then I had to jump on a plane to Dallas, Texas, where I spent the last couple of days. Uh, and, and I literally just got back. So I wanted to get this video out now. Um, let's start off with this. Since I've been away here, what's been happening? Well, if you've been following my work, you know exactly what's been happening without me being here. And the, all the action has been in the bond market, the bond market people. I cannot stress this to you enough that we are seeing something here in the bond market that everybody on the mainstream financial channels continues to ignore. They, they are whistling past the yield curve. You know who Jeffrey Gunlock is? He's a billionaire fund manager. He, he keeps talking about th this market overall and saying people are whistling past the graveyard. I'm telling you that people are, are whistling past the yield curve. This yield curve continues to flatten people. It's flattening out right before our eyes. And everybody on the mainstream financial channels and, and, and even the, and the mainstream news channels, they're just ignoring this like it's not happening. But it is happening. I've spoken about the yield curve thousands and thousands of times over the yield, years, yield, over the years since I've been out here. Um, and there is no doubt in my mind that the, the, the bond market is, it's now flashing red. It, I, I did a video a couple of weeks back where I said it was flashing yellow. It is flashing red big time. Be, be, before I go on with that, let's talk about some more bad economic news. On the housing front, yet again, mortgage applications fall. The median house price is falling. Um, and, and the the mainstream financial channels, they're trying to fist feed you, and I mean fist feed you, that there's, you know, oh, there's no housing, out, there's no houses out there. This is garbage, okay? There's no affordable housing out there. Um, again, housing is in a bubble. It has rivet, risen above the ability. The average house has now risen above the ability for the average person to afford it. So this is what they will not tell you on the mainstream financial channels. And, you know, I think we're starting to see cracks here in the housing bubble. The yield curve. Let's go back to the yield curve flattening out. You know, you have a lot of people out there, um, even the president, talking about how he's projecting X uh, growth here, 3%. The yield curve is not, the yield curve is saying, no way, it is not going to happen. And I do not believe it's going to happen. Look, the yield curve, just to put this as simple as possible, is telling us that we are in for an economic downturn, not an, a, a growing economy. That's what the bond market is telling us. The housing market is cracking and we are seeing a um, the yield curve. It's screaming at us, people. The yield curve is screaming at us that all the garbage that we're he hearing from the mainstream financial channels it is just that. It's garbage. We're going nowhere. Our economy is going nowhere. The Federal Reserve has failed miserably uh, in what they have tried to do. All they have been su successful in doing, people, you know what these things are if you follow this blog. Number one, reinflate a housing bubble. Number two, reinflate a stock market bubble. That's it. We still have a money velocity. That's the rate at which cash is moving through our economy near historic lows and a labor force participation rate near historic lows. You cannot, 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 and you can say cannot from now until, I don't know, whenever you want to stop, you cannot have an economic recovery without the money velocity picking up and the labor force participation rate picking up. Can't happen. So we are going nowhere. All the Fed has done is create distortions across this this spectrum of asset classes unlike anything we have ever seen in the history of the world makes the dot-com bubble looks like child's play makes the less bubble the credit housing bubble look like uh, again child's play romper room um, so we are much much worse off in, across the spectrum but again you're gonna have the mainstream financial channels 
fist feeding you how we're in a global recovery. You know, China just got their debt rating downgraded. We keep hearing about all kinds of trouble over here in South America, but they need you to believe that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Couldn't be further from the truth. So people like billionaire uh, fund manager Jeffrey Gunlock, he is absolutely right. People are whistling past the graveyard, but I think people are whistling past the yield curve because that yield curve is, going, is continuing to flatten out. If the Federal Reserve, Reserve does raise rates come next month, and I still believe they're going to do that, they're going to affect the short end of that curve and flatten, the, flatten out the curve even further. If we start to see this yield invert, the yield curve invert, I have been saying for the longest time, literally for probably about two years, that we are going to see the long end of the curve come down, come down to meet the short end of the curve, I think we're going to invert. I think there is a strong possibility that we are going to have an inverted yield curve in the not too distant future here. Once, uh, let me just say this, once we, we see this event occur, this flattening of the, the flattening flat and then invert, you got to run for the hills. And I mean literally get on the phone with your, your 401k manager or wherever you have your cash invested and get it out. Get it out big time because that every time we've had an inverted curve like that, look at the last two mega bubbles, the market has plunged, absolutely plunged. So the stock market is existing in financial fantasy land, completely disconnected from reality. Look at what just happened to crude oil today. Crude oil got slaughtered. Um, Anyway, if you put all of this together, everything that we've been talking about, that I've been going over for you, you can see that you have been lied to upside down, backwards and sideways, and continue to be by the mainstream financial channels who, you know, they, would, they want to put rose petals all over the New York Stock Exchange and rose petals in front of it. I mean, I don't know what they want. But all you need to do is look at that flattening yield curve. The yield curve is a warning and it is now absolutely flashing red that something out there is, is ugly and it's going to happen. Who knows when? Could be tomorrow. Uh, I think more than likely a little further down the road here, but we are not far from this. And, and the Fed, the Fed is in a lot of trouble. Like I said, I still believe they're going to raise rates next month because they simply have got to do something to keep confidence. This whole market is built upon confidence and that's it. If you notice the way the stock market started off today, um, the opening bell, the market was higher. You know why the, the opening bell was up today? Because we got bad economic news on the housing front. So the market was, was starting to believe, hey, you know what, the Fed really cannot raise rates. They can't do it. I still think they're going to. I could be wrong on this, but again, my record with the Federal Reserve calling what they're going to do is, frankly, second to none. I missed it once, one time. One time I got the Federal Reserve wrong. In all the years since they've been talking about raising rates, uh, 10 years now. Okay, I got it wrong once, one time. I think that's pretty good. So um, we're going to see how this plays out, people. But I don't know how, how to say this another way. The yield curve is telling us something. It's, it's warning us that something is not right here. I think if you follow this blog, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We need to keep our eyes open. We need to watch if it's going to flatten and then if it inverts. I mean, I can't tell you how fast you need to get on the phone with your fund manager when this event happens, and I'm, I'm certain it is going to happen. Um, when, a month or two or three, I have no idea, but it's going to happen in the not too distant future if the yield curve continues to flatten, if the Fed raises the, the, the federal funds rate, which will affect the short end of the curve. You got it. You see how this works? It's very simple. Listen to the bond market. I can't stress that enough, people. I, look. I'm going to let you all go. I know this has been kind of a long video. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I had a couple of bad days there while I was ill. Like I said, I went away to Dallas. Um, fabulous place, by the way. Um, if, if, if you're one of my uh, followers from Dallas, you got a great city there. Loved it. Awesome place. Um, all right. With that said, I will see you tomorrow. Over and out.